Hello everybody out there. This is not a serious project. This is just for fun. Um, so, but you might learn some stuff. So select the cube and hit Shift D, and uh, to duplicate it, and then hit S and then Z to um, get it to the proper thickness, which is about right about there. And then hit S again and uh, hit Y to lengthen it out about there, and then S and then X to stretch it to where it basically just kind of goes around that gray grid right there. And now select the cube and uh, we're gonna stretch it on the X axis and um, now we're gonna duplicate it by uh, hitting shift D and drag it to over there and then hit shift D again and drag it to the other side and kind of uh, straighten it up a little bit now we have all these different objects but we need to combine them into a single mesh so in order to do that hold down shift and right click on all the objects and then after when we have all of them selected as we can see we uh, hit uh, Control J. Now, um, as you can see, um, it is a complete object. It's one object, which is really cool, very useful tool. Now, go to your toolbar, hit on Add Modifier Array, and um, go to Constant Offset, and hit X, and bring the X over to negative 3.4. Uh, that, yeah, somewhere around there, and then Y to about 15. I would, yeah, just whatever look good because you kind of want that track look where it, you know, and uh, yeah, that looks pretty good. And this is where it gets really cool. Whenever you hit that count button, it um, brings um, it makes more and more duplicates, and it makes a longer and longer road, and. Uh, you know it's super cool uh, and you know don't feel bad to you know overdo it so hit in and go to um, lock camera to view and um, now hit numpad zero and uh, now just move your cursor uh, and move it to the desired position because we kinda want it just just where it kinda like looks at the road um, and at, at a good view and uh, now, um, go to user preferences and go to input and um, Blender at this new thing. Click on fly and uh, go to 3D view. And uh, now we need to make some room. So uh, uh, click on numpad zero and uh, hit N to remove that toolbar right there. And then um, drag the other toolbars out of the way. And uh, now we're ready to do this thing. So uh, hit shift F and we're ready for a launch off. Um, you use your cursor to kind of move around and then W to go forward and you can use your scroll button on your mouse to go even faster and I'm in the middle of the road right now <laughs> now I'm under it and it's really cool uh, it and hit the right click on the mouse uh, to be able to um, go to start back at where you originally started and uh, it's just a really fun thing to do I mean I consider it like a little mini game in blender and uh, it's 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 really amusing um, but uh, yes uh, if you uh, use the scroll on the mouse as I said previously uh, you can go really fast um, let's see how fast I can go I'm gonna try as fast as I can go seems like it's slowing down oh. dude that's fast that's so cool um, and not only does it just go forward I mean it can go if you hit D and A um, D allows you to go right A allows you to go left and right now it's going right and um, you can do some 360 shots so uh, thank you for watching guys